All right, so let's say that you've put your data into Google Sheets. Um, by the way, Google Sheets, super easy to use, a nice thing. If you click the Share button, uh, you can actually change this to get a shareable link. So if you've done your data in Google Sheets, you can just copy this link and use that as your submission for that data, uh, the data, what is it called? Data submission. Um, so this is the easiest way. So again, share, get shareable link. Um, this is also in that sharing tab. Uh, where you can find, you can add uh, your other people in your groups that you can all input your data individually if you need to, unless you just want to do that together uh, in the lab um, for those classes that have that. Once your data is in Google Sheets, by the way, you can do uh, some things in Google Sheets. Like if you drag this little gray bar down, you make uh, these a frozen row. So that way, if you wanted to sort by something to add another variable, you could do a sort um, and you could see, do a sort that way. So if you wanted to have some sort of categories or something, um, just throwing this out as a possibility. I had one group that had to add an age group category, so they sorted by age and then that was an easier thing to do. Um, but anyways, uh, let me see. So I want to put this all into StatCrunch. So if you go into StatCrunch, let me sign out as myself and sign in as Mesa119. Mesa, nope, it's not spring. That's a problem. Mesa fall 2019. Whatever the password is, if I use this for another semester. Um, and then you're going to go to open StatCrunch. Technically, there are things that you can see here. You can go ahead and get data from Google Drive. I feel like this will actually link your Google account to this, so I don't recommend doing that. Just open StatCrunch, and then you have this whole area, and you have options. You can load data from a drive, file from a drive. So if you have your data in Excel, uh, you could do this from a file. Uh, I think the easiest thing is to just paste it. So I'm going to go back to that data set. I'm going to grab, including the names, all of this data. Control-C, just copy it, or Command-C if you have a Mac, right? So do whatever you need to do to copy it. Go up here. Since I copied the names, I actually want to go up and put my cursor on the, the names of the variables. And if I do Control-V, it'll put the variable names in and everything else. So this puts my data in StatCrunch. In order for everyone to be able to use it, we need to save it. So you go to Data, Save, and then make up a name, right? I don't want to save this one because I don't actually want to do this. But once one person from your group has done this, the next people from your group will go be able to just, when they go into the, the shared StatCrunch uh, login, go to My Data and click on whatever you named your data set. So that way I can come in here and say, okay, I'm going to work on this age versus eating habits thing. And then I'm done. I'm good. All right, so that's how we're going to get our data into StatCrunch. That's the first step before we can do any of the individual components.